Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise. And today we're comparing the changes or upgrades from the 2018 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring to the 2020 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. So uh, before we jump into that, go ahead, hit the JSS down here at the bottom so that you can subscribe to my channel. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would also ding that bell for notifications. I'm trying to get a lot more videos out there. I don't want you to miss it. Let's check it out. All right, starting up front, let's uh, cover the outside and talk about the differences or changes. So Grand Touring in 2018, of course, was standard with your iActive Sense. So uh, the second year of this body style or generation so not many changes. Of course, this one's in the jet black with the uh, parchment interior. And uh, so you can see the little LED uh, fog lights down at the bottom. Um, same headlight housing, LED headlights. Here's our first change that we come to is the 19 inch wheels. And I actually am a big fan of these wheels. Uh, 2019 the next year they changed them to what we'll see on the 20 over here but uh, these are like my favorite wheels 19 inch wheels so of course uh, painted darker on the inside with this light surround I just I just love the way they look and um, the other change that you'll see here is uh, same uh, mirror housing it's just that these do not power fold in so that was something that we would see on uh, 19. And uh, so you have a power folding now, uh, which is not on the 2020, or I'm sorry, on the 2018. As we go around, everything's uh, for the most part the same. Take a look inside. And again, this is a certified pre-owned with 42,000 miles. So uh, the parchment interior, we'll take a peek at that in just a minute. And of course you can fold down with your handles here. I uh, still have your Bose system with the subwoofer in the spare, all your tools there and uh, programmable lift gate. Everything's for the most part the same. Let's walk over here and check this out. Starting up front on this 2020, again, everything looks about the same. So we go to the side profile here, see the new 19 inch wheels, more of a bright aluminum paint instead of the darker accents, which this is a, a nice looking wheel. It's just uh, not, doesn't pop as much as the, the one on the 18. Uh, of course, these were new in 2019. As I mentioned earlier, here's the, uh, the mirrors that are folded in. And uh, as you walk up and unlock, they open up neat feature walking around the back here everything's for the most part the same uh, of course our 2020 example here has the side rails whereas the 2020 doesn't i know right in the sun there it's kind of hard to see and this one has the black interior so it's machine gray with the black still have the handles everything's the same here of course, a lot of these changes that we see on this, this generation were implemented in 16 and a half. So um, a lot of the same stuff as we finish up our walk around here on the 2020. And you can see the two front grills there, very similar, not many changes. All right, let's jump inside. All right, so walking inside, still have a power seat with lumbar memory. Um, of course, the Bose system that we talked about. So you have uh, the inside here on the 2018 is the little LCD right here. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Automatic climate control standard on Grand Touring, heated seats standard as well. Uh, you have the uh, auto dimming rear view mirror with the uh, home link course loading right up right on demand navigation mazda navigation was standard on this model of the grand touring um all your iActive sense oop, 
let's get in focus there all your active sense right here lane departure power lift gate traction control uh, everything set up here for your uh, distance recognition system and mazda radar cruise control again if we flip through this info button after we shut the door it'll change some of this stuff here's your odometer uh, exterior temperature uh, so mazda navigation system right inside here in the card area you got two usb ports uh commander control that we're familiar with just looking around power moonroof is standard on both and let's take a quick peek in oh one thing here before we hop in the back seat so you've got uh the tr the older style key on 2018 so the the long skinny with your buttons like this Hopping in the back seat, rear vents, fold down armrest, open this up, two USBs right here, USB 2.1 for extra amp amperage. So uh, everything's pretty much the same back here. Got some map lights around. Let's uh, check out that 2020 next door. All right, so same seat settings. Steering wheel's the same crank this up so of course inside is upgraded so a full LCD here 7 inch LCD and uh, you do still have the same size 7 inch screen here now a couple things to point out this does have the uh, GT premium package which the other one did not have so that premium package includes a heated steering wheel also cooled seats but you notice how those were bigger uh buttons on that 18 they're smaller now and this is reconfigured here so your power button's right here instead of the big control with the fan speed and and all that stuff there uh that were previous i don't know if you caught that i didn't elaborate on that um same kind of setup here of course this is the black interior but everything else the same uh, faux wood accents around and um notice here no navigation standard uh, but you do have the phone mirroring system or apple carplay and android auto so that's uh kind of across the line some of the the changes that we've seen and um so again if i hit this nav button here all that's going to come up is your compass it's not standard with the navigation system uh, something else i like here is you've got your open door notification right there so you can still see some of this information and if i hit info i can still scroll through this whereas the other one you won't be driving with the door open obviously but you couldn't control or couldn't scroll through uh, with that everything else is the same on the side here same safety features um, so let's uh check out the back seat same setup rear ac vents same armrest although with this the premium package which was available in 18 but you have rear uh heaters here and then of course your usb ports so same map lights up around not many differences here uh except for the key of course which i'll have to grab and show you in just a minute um but uh not many differences other than uh just a few things Hop back up here real quick to show you the new key, of course, 2020 uh, is when these transitioned here. So a um, little bit flatter and everything's right here for the thumb instead of the bigger buttons. It's smaller and on the side and your extra key is actually housed on the inside here. All right. So again, comparing the 2018 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring to the 2020, there's one more thing uh, that is I have not mentioned that is underneath it all and that is G Vectoring Control Plus. So in 2017, G Vectoring Control came out with this uh, and was on this new generation 2018, 2017 and 2018. G Vectoring Control involves uh, adjusting torque outputs to the wheels independently while your foot is on the accelerator so when you're changing lanes when you're going around in and out of a turn things like that and uh, helps reduce fatigue of the driver from the steering wheel so the steering actions now in 2020 g vectoring control plus 
is now available that uses the uh, torque outputs to the wheels but also applies the brakes if necessary and it's a seamless experience so that again less driver fatigue and it even can help boost responsiveness of the vehicle in an emergency situation so very slight change there g vectoring control g vectoring control plus other than that We've covered all the differences between the 2018 and 2019, and you can see most of the features are the same, body style is the same. Um, of course, the one more thing that I forgot about is they did make some more subtle changes to help uh, noise vibration and harshness, or NVH, uh, better in the 2020. Of course, you may have to have a, uh, a sound system for to measure the decibels on that. But uh, again, we've got some styling differences here, some technology differences, and uh, some uh, slight safety improvements with G Vector Control Plus. Uh, but the 2018 is still a, a nice, solid vehicle with my favorite wheels and some of the amenities that you'll see. But if you need some of that upgraded technology or just want uh, the newer vehicle, the 2020 is a great value as well. Uh, depending on miles, and of course, these are, are roughly um, eight to ten thousand dollars difference. Of course, this one has the uh, uh, premium package. So if you take that off, we're talking only about uh, six to eight thousand dollars difference between 2020 and a 2018. So uh, of course, mileage, certification, all those things uh, will determine that as well. Uh, but drop in the comments below which one that you would choose is the uh, new style wheels and the G Vector Control Plus Apple CarPlay important to you? New key design, a little bit quieter ride, or would you rather save some money on the 2018? Still great vehicles, 2017, 2018. The CX-5s are really fantastic. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard and Enterprise. If you have any uh, comments or questions, drop them below. If I missed anything, uh, please share for the community's sake. And uh, I really can't wait to see you in a new Mazda or a certified.